Hello, fellow Zoom Scouters and Camptoberfest participants. My name's Clay Jackson, and I'm going to be doing the pillowcase auction. So to have a pillowcase auction, you need a pillowcase. This is a pillowcase. And there's certain things that you need to have in this pillowcase. And as you'll note, it's pretty full. Why? Because this is Camptoberfest, and this is an activity under Camptoberfest. First thing on the list you will need will be a pad of paper and a pen. This one has all of the answers to what you're going to need on it. And I'm going to give you some clues right now. And you should be able to figure out everything that's in my pillowcase. So let's start. First of all, I'm going to be giving you 30 minutes. That's 30 minutes and a lot of seconds. And so you need to be able to get everything in your pillowcase into the pillowcase. And so here's the, here's the clue and the hint for this event. First, everything in here is stuff that you would use as a scout. Second, everything in here is emergency or preparedness or daily maintenance for a person items. So think about that. They're all going to fit in here. They're all going to be, not all of them are scout related, but they all relate to people. Third, everything in here is something you would need in an emergency situation or just to live your life. So I can tell you what's not in here. There's not a sleeping bag in here. There's not a tent in here. So but that's kind of what I want you to think. What we, might you use in an emergency situation? What might you use personally in a scout camp or a, or a camp out situation? Or what would you need if all the lights went out in your house? So I'm gonna give you 30 minutes from right now and I'm gonna want you to go get your pillowcase filled with all these things. And all of them are not scout related but they're things you would use if the lights went out or if you needed to handle something in an emergency. So come back in 30 minutes and we're gonna get back on and we're gonna go through my pillowcase and you need to have things in your pillowcase that matches what's in my pillowcase in order to get points and win. And the first thing I had in there to just to get points are paper and paper and a pen or writing instrument. So that would be two points. So see where we're going? Okay, scouters, I'll see you in 30 minutes. Hello, scouters. Okay, we're back. And I've got one more minute before we're gonna start this thing up. And so what's gonna happen is I've got my list. You can't see it, which is good. So there's no surprises except for you. And so I'm going to run through these items and I'm going to tell you how many points will be given for each, each different item. And then you will be able to go through, score it all up, and we'll figure out how much you will be able to get on the total points. So anyway, we are starting now. Uh, in one minute. Okay, we are good to go. So I do have it running and we are moving forward. So let's get going. First of all, we're scouts. We wear uniforms like this. And you probably have a uniform like what you're wearing. So if you are wearing a uniform right now, you get three points. Okay. So wasn't on the list, but this is scouting. You're supposed to be at scout camp or camptober. And at camptober, we wear scout uniforms. So if you're wearing a scout uniform, you automatically get three points. Okay. Next, I'm not taking these in any particular order. But like I said, everything's in the pillowcase. So let's get going. And the question is, can I find it in the pillowcase? First of all, 
it's about snack time, right? So if you have a snack in your pillowcase, you get one point. Okay, so dig in there and find a snack. You can eat it because I can't see you and no one else can either. I will not eat my snack, but you get one point for having a snack in your pillowcase. Next. I said this was about being prepared and preparedness. And so it's super, it's super important that we're all prepared. Why? Because we live in California. There's fires. There's more fires. There's smoke. You can't even go outside. There's smoke. And even beyond that, we're in California. The lights can turn out. How many of you had your lights turned out because there's not enough power to go around? So it's important to be prepared. There's something in scouting, I can't remember what exactly it is, something that's like be prepared. So that's what we're doing, we're being prepared. And so I started when I was a scout. This right here is my 1973 scout book. And so when I was your age, I used this scout book, became an Eagle Scout off of this scout book. So if you have a if you have your a scout handbook, that is one point. Okay. Next, the scout handbook's good. Don't get me wrong, it's good. The 1940 scout book was probably better. I have one, I know. So it was probably better. And then in 19, the 1960 scout book was really good. Had all kinds of stuff on preparedness. And then they created this scout book and got rid of most of the good stuff. So this Boy Scouts of America then put it into the field book. So I want you to have, uh, how many of you have the ability to go to the scout store? Answer is probably yes. You can give a field book from the scout store and your field book will have all kinds of great information on camping, resources, emergency equipment, cooking, all that stuff, all the stuff that you say, wow, I wish the scout book told me more. It does. It's your field book. So if you have a field book or if you have a book like this, which is the United States of America, civil defense. Yeah, let's see. Civil defense, adult education course and student manual on personal and family survival. If you have something like that, or if you have a book like this. And I keep these in my emergency kit. Why? I taught this for years, but it's important. I know what's in this stuff. So survival with style, just an emergency book. So if you have any kind of emergency book, including a field book, that is another point because how many of you have cell phones? How many of you have cell phones? The answer is probably a lot of you, most of you. So you have your cell phone. So it dies. So what are you going to do? You need to you need to be able to read. Well, when the power goes out and you still can't charge your cell phone, you need something in writing, book form. People read them. They still make them. A lot of these books are available at a used bookstore. So if you if you have that, that will be one point. So that's that. So moving onward. How many of you are going to go hiking with a, with a pillowcase? Truthfully, how many of you are going to walk out your house with a pillowcase? Hopefully the answer is not a lot because your mother would kill you, especially if she's got a match set of sheets that match her pillowcase. So safety tip, don't use mom's pillowcase. Get a bag. So in, the, in here, I have a bag, any kind of bag. String backpacks are great. My wife suggested I use it. She's smarter than I am. She suggested I use it. I got a string backpack. Here it is. Has a bottle holder on it. Drink holder. Good move, mom. So if you have a bag of any kind in your pillowcase, that is a point. Because if you go on a day hike, you need a bag. If you do something else, you need a bag. If you have all kinds of little things or big things, you need a bag to put in your pillowcase. So that's bad. Next, we are scouts. Scouts use what? Scouts have 
knives, okay? I, I have a better knife, I have a bigger knife. It's a folding knife. I want you to have a folding knife. Why a folding knife? The answer is because Boy Scouts aren't allowed to use sheath knives and hunting knives. We have folding knives. So if you have a folding knife in your backpack, you get a point. And unless I tell you otherwise, everything is a point. So you need a folding knife in your backpack. And I put mine on a lanyard. That's not a point. But it's really easy to find a little knife in a big bag with something that's bright that you can instantly know it's that. And when you need your knife, you can just put it around your neck and wear the lanyard. We'll, we'll do that. No extra points, but it's a good move. Okay. So what else do we have in here? Okay. The be all and end all. How many of you in 2020 ran out of toilet paper? Yes, that little rule that's so important. That little rule is worth one point because toilet paper is on the list and in the bag. So toilet paper. Okay. Now some things I just put in here. Okay, now we have water, right? I don't have a swimming pool, no swimming pool. I have a neighbor with a swimming pool. I have another neighbor with a swimming pool. I have another neighbor with a swimming pool. They can't drink any of that water. 10,000 gallons of undrinkable water. So what do you do? You need to purify that water. How do you purify it? You get a water purifier or a filter. Why? Because undrinkable water is still undrinkable. You can take this, which is called a life straw. They're anywhere from $10 to $20 on Amazon or most stores. Uh, I think I got these for 14 bucks each online. This will filter a thousand gallons of water. Okay. See what they're doing there? They're drinking out of an icky pond. You really can drink out of an icky pond with a life straw. So if you have a water filter of any kind in your bag, you get a point. Now, the problem is you can suck water out of that water straw like I showed you. But if you don't have something to put the water in, you have a filter, you're pumping it out. Well, you're not going to pump it into your mouth. You're not, you know, the water straw is a little big. So if you have a bottle to put into your bag, that is another point. So if there's a, you know, you need a, a, a bottle to put your water in. You're not going to stay around a stream. You're not going to, you know, you can't go to your neighbor's house and grab that. So you have the filter. You're going to put it in a bottle. That's another point. Now, one other thing is that when you're drinking, you're not going to drink out of your water bottle because different people are going to need the water. So what are you going to do? You have a cup. This is called a Sierra cup. They're not expensive. I have mine since the 1970s. They don't degrade. They don't do that. They're metal. They're really hot. You can stick it like over a flame and warm up your water, turn it into hot cocoa, whatever. But if you have a cup, it's another point. And that's going to be different than the, another cup I'm going to be showing you. But this is all important stuff. And one more thing, on water, on water purifiers, just because you have, just because you have water and just because you get the junk out of it, it still might, you know, there's, it says 99.999%. Okay. Well, for you math gurus, that's not a hundred percent. It's 99.999% effective. Well, it only takes one Giardia molecule or a little creature swimming in the water to kill you. This kills that creature in the water. Getting it open is another thing. This is a water purifier. It, it uses a UV light. So with this water filter, you can actually, you can filter it. If you have a little pump water filter, you can put it into the bottle and then you can stir it up with this and that will actually purify your water. So you can, 
you're doing it two or three times. And if my life's at stake, I want to make sure, because quite frankly, do I absolutely trust this? No. Do I absolutely trust my water filter? No. But do I trust off both of them together? Yeah, I do. Because 99% of 99% is really small numbers. So anyway, having this, not an extra point, but it would count as a, it would count as a point for your water filter or your water purifier or whatever you want to call that. Okay. So that is the next, that's an, that's, you know, just another point of that next thing on the list. Okay. And as I said, this is all stuff. It will save your life. Okay. Important stuff. The snack is good, but if you have giardia and are sitting over a toilet for four days, you're probably not going to enjoy the snack as much as you would have had you had the water purifier. Okay. So a water purifier. Okay. There's a quarter in the bag. I'm now a quarter richer. Okay. That's not an item, but you know what? I'll give you, you have any money in the bag whatsoever. That is one point. I'll add it to the list. Money equals one point. Because actually you do need money. In today's world, everywhere you need money. So if you have money in your bag, that's a point. And I just happen to have it in the bag. I'm not that smart. I happen to have it in the bag. In my emergency kit, I do have money. Um, not enough to spend, but I have money. Okay, next. Okay, now, when you're, out, when you're out and about in the world and you're wearing scout uniform, is this a complete scout uniform? The answer is no. I'm wearing scout pants, belt, shirt, patches all over it, you know. But in order to be a complete scout uniform, you need a scout hat. That's right. This is my hat from when I was a Boy Scout starting in 1973 with that scout book. I wore this hat. I know it looks stupid, but it's a scout hat. Isn't that cool? A scout emblem on it. We're cool. That is a scout hat. If you have any kind of hat, you get one point. Scout hat. Doesn't have to be as, you know, if you get a scout hat, if it's a scout hat, I'll give you an extra point. Okay. So for any hat, you get a point. So it's one plus one if it's a scout hat. Why? Because there's two places you lose heat out of your body, top of your head and your rear end. Keep either one of those uncovered. You're going to freeze to death if you're in a snowstorm. So really important. Have a hat. Wear your pants. We're good. Okay. So that's it. Okay. Do this in order. You know how they say, you know, scouting prepares you for the rest of your life by giving you cool hats and uniforms and cups and books. Well, scouting prepared me so much that back when I was a Boy Scout, I got my scouting mess kit. Now, you probably all have one of these scouting mess kits, but you don't have one from 1973 or 74 or five or whatever with the original scouting logo still on it. Look at that scouting logo right there. Okay. This is original BSA mess kit. So if you have a mess kit, you get a point and there's a cup in the mess kit, but I'm not going to count it with the cup here. And the reason why is this cup's really cool. You know why? Because you can hang it over your belt. You put it in your belt, put it over your belt. You can have your cup on your belt when you're hiking, it's not gonna fall off. And then when you need it, you can pour water in it. You're not drinking out of someone's bottle, gross. So this, this is point, the mess kit is a point. Okay, next, it's important, if I can find it, With the mess kit, you need utensils. If you have utensils, knife, fork, spoon, or a spork in your bag, you get a point. Hmm. 
Okay. How many of you have a fire starter? Not matches, fire starter. I used to teach emergency or wilderness survival at scout camp when it first came out in 1976. I was a merit badge counselor. Camp Silverado up in the Sierras. Here's a fire starter. They require you to start a fire with something other than matches or a lighter. Personally now, I use a lighter, but fire starter is good. This can get wet. You can soak it in your cup. You can dry it off. It's flint and steel. It's about three bucks at Harbor Freight fire starter. Very good. And the bar is made of magnesium, I believe. Yeah, this bar is made of magnesium. You can take your knife, you can shave the bar into a fire, hit it with the sparks, and this and the magnesium will catch fire really hot, really warm fire. Make sure you do your fire right. Your scouts expect you to have good fire starting skills. Get a fire starting kit. Magnesium burns well over a thousand degrees will light all kinds of stuff. I didn't put it in my kit. I have it in my emergency kit, steel wool. Why steel wool? Because steel wool with one of these or a battery, you can start a fire with steel wool. It will catch fire directly off of this, directly off a match, directly off of a battery. Just ground out the battery, it glows, it catches really hot fire, will burn you, and you can start a fire with it. So that's that's the next thing. Fire starter. One point. Okay. Lid in my pen. No points. This is where the point though. Remember that. Okay, back to the back to the pillowcase. All this stuff was in the pillowcase. Doesn't take a lot. Okay, how many of you have gone to scout camp or somewhere and they say, and you go and trade patches? If you have a, a patch in your back, in your backpack, in your pillowcase, that is a point. However, if it is a rank patch or a patch on what your position is and it is out of date, that's okay. Out of date's okay. Out of date. If it is a patch that is yet to be sewed, sewed onto your uniform, that is minus one point. Minus a point? Why would you take off a point? Quick answer. You need to have your current rank on your uniform. I'll give you a month. If, you, if, you, if your board of, if your uh, court of honor was in a month, or if it hasn't happened yet for that rank, you're good. You don't lose a point. But if it's a if it's a patch you've had sitting in your dresser drawer or in your uniform pocket for six months, you lose a point because they're supposed to be on your uniform. Like if we look at my pocket here, oops, 2017 district merit, district vice chairman. Yeah, I have all these cute patch that Mr. Payne made still hasn't gone on there. Got a recruiter patch. I'd be losing big points, but I, I made it all up. And I have all the points anyway, because everything's in my bag. So anyway, don't lose points, but you want to make sure that you have a patch in there. And patches are trading tradable. You can trade a council patch. You can trade an OA patch. You can trade Camptober patches. So they're good to have because it's an, it's an event. So you can trade event patches. So make sure that you make sure that you put them on your uniform. And then the old ones, rank ones you keep. Those are cool to build a, a memory box with. But have the have the current patch on your uniform. Next, I hate the dark. Dark isn't good. Why? It's scary. Critters live in the dark. Mountain lions and bears walk around at night. Not really good. Have a flashlight. It works. Have extra batteries for the flashlight. It helps. You can do what with a flashlight? You can start, or you can do what with the batteries? Start a fire with steel wool. So 
have a flashlight, it's a point. Have extra batteries, it's another point. So that's up to two points if you have a flashlight and batteries. I mentioned phones. Phones are great. Keep them, use them, love them. There's an app. It's on Apple and it's on uh, it's on Google or what you know whatever they call that one, Samsung Play, whatever, any of the Play Store. So there's an app. It's really great. It's the United States Army Survival Manual. It's kind of like the Survival Manual I had here, but it's on your phone. It shows your plants that are edible, shows you plants that are poisonous, shows you snakes that are poisonous, snakes that are not poisonous, all kinds of stuff. Teaches you how to do things, create traps, amazing. The field book is pretty close, but it's good to have the free one on your phone too. It's free, do that. What do you do without this though? No phone charger, no phone, no power, no phone. I didn't put it in here because I, I wouldn't expect a scout to buy because they're really expensive. I have a solar charger in my bag, in my emergency bag. Why? Because if there's no power, there's no charger, no charger, no phone. It's good to get one for the car. You can always do that to your car battery dies. But a phone charger is one point. Oh, and the cable is another point. Charge is kind of worthless without the cable. Cable is kind of worthless without the charger. So there you go. Two points for that. Okay. Get near the end. Okay. Twine. You can do so much with twine. Better than rope at times. Because you can, if you need to lash something quickly, you can use twine. Not strong. You can use twine. You can use it for all kinds of things. You can make rope with twine. Can't make twine with rope. Not that easy. So if you have twine or rope, I'll give you a point. Okay. Twine or rope is worth a point. String is also worth a point. It's just better twine. It's better than better than twine. Doesn't tr twine, this is sisal twine, biodegrades. Nylon twine, come back in 200 years, it might might have a little decay. Don't leave any of it in the sun. Okay, so scout patches, got that. Okay, next. Okay, got your phone, right? Got a compass in the phone till the phone dies. Get a compass. We're scouts. We have compasses, okay? Compass works. Compass. Get one. Love it. Live it. Own it. Wear it. And you can always put that onto this, onto this. You could also put the fire starter onto this with the with the knife. Have all three of those things on your on your on this, tuck it in your shirt, doesn't bang against your body all day, make you nuts. So if you have I have to find it, but if you have that, that's good. So compass, it's worth a point. Next, oh, the paper and pencil I showed you originally when before we started. If you're smart enough to put that in your bag, you get a point. Actually, you get two points if you have a paper and a writing utensil. Pen's good, pencil's good. Pencils are somewhat better. Why? Because a pencil doesn't dry up. A pencil lasts pretty much forever. They the spring, there's no spring in a pencil to break. Get a real wooden pencil. They're five cents. Buy one. Put it in your bag. Don't you don't even have to sharpen it because it'll poke everything else in your bag. So just get an unsharpened pencil or two, throw them in your bag. That's worth that's worth whatever I gave you for it. That's worth two points. Okay. Next. Before COVID, how many of you knew what PPE was? Okay. PPE. I don't know what PPE is. Okay, PPE was personal protective equipment. Okay, there's three things in personal protective equipment. They are a mask. If you have a mask, one point. Next, hand sanitizer, one point. Next, 
gloves. They don't match. It's not a fashion show, people. Gloves, one point. So that's worth up to three points for PPE. Okay, you're out in the sun all day. What does mom say? Put on sunscreen, okay? And you say, I want to look cool. I want to look tan. I used to be that guy. I used to, I worked at scout camp. I worked at boys, or I worked at a private camps. I worked at YMCA camp as a lifeguard for two years and drove ski boats. I had blonde hair, blue eyes, and I was dark, dark, dark because I had a great suntan. Now they're cutting it out because it's all turned to cancer. Get sunscreen, okay? Get it, wear it, love it. Sunscreen is worth a point. Now, once you do get burned because you didn't wear sunscreen, you need what's known as, it's got a name. This is from Disneyland, by the way. See Disneyland at the top? Disney gives these out if you stay in their hotels. Why? Because you're walking around the park all day. You're getting burned because you didn't wear sunscreen. So you put this on. It's got aloe. It's got all kinds of stuff. Does It gets rid of the pain from your sunburn. If you have one of those, like usually have aloe, that's worth two points. The sunscreen's worth a point. The aloe or whatever it is after worth a point. Good to have. It's also good to have some kind of lotion anyway. But the after stuff's really good. So that's two points. Okay, next. Mom's no bass. Mom's always telling me, brush your teeth. Brush your teeth, toothpaste or toothbrush, toothpaste. Okay, you have one of each, two points. One, one point. None, brush your teeth. Next. You're going to be out and about for a while. So, you know, this this stuff, is it going to save your life? Could help, won't hurt. But then you, then it gets to be afternoon and you've been working hard. You've been setting up your camp, doing all that. And so at the end of the day, you're going to want to do something fun. So I tell people, bring playing cards. Why? Because it's not all about work. You need something to do. How many of your phones have solitaire? Every phone in the world has solitaire people. Why? Because it's something you can do to pass the time away. Whatever I can get in here. So whatever. Anyway, built into every deck of cards is a free, batteryless solitaire game. So you should learn how to play it. So if you have a deck of cards or something like dominoes or whatever, it's a point. So. Get near the end, then we're almost done. Yeah, I'm not sure there. Okay. Okay, I knew I threw something in here, but I'm not finding it, but I'm gonna count it because it's my game. So, um, one more thing, chapstick. There's nothing more miserable than having chap lips, especially if you're on a camping trip. And then what you do, you lick them. Okay. They're not, they're not, now they're nice and moist. That dries off. And then it's even worse than it was before. Bring chapstick. Okay. Chapstick, any kind is fine. But if you have flavored chapstick, I'll give you two points. Chapstick's one point. Flavored chapstick's another point. So, chapstick. Okay, next, and it, it's probably somewhere in here. I don't know where right now because I got so much stuff, but a zip drive. You should have, if you have your doctor, most doctors, at least I know Kaiser, you can download off the internet your entire medical record. So if you were going to go somewhere and you needed to be safe, I wouldn't put it in my phone because once your phone's dead, your phone's dead, but I would get a zip drive. Thumb drive, zip drive, whatever you want to call them. Get that. Put your medical records on it. Put maybe a game on it, depending how big it is. Do whatever. Get that. And then you'll be able to be have your emergency information with you if something happens. Because you can't always call your doctor. Hey, doctor, blah, blah, blah. No. If you're camping, whatever, 
if um, one time I was at a scout camp in the middle of Sierras, we had a scout that got sick. We had to take him to the hospital in Truckee. No medical records, had a consent form, great consent form. But at two in the morning, you're not gonna be able to get medical records. Wouldn't it be nice just to stick it into the, stick it into the, um, hand it to the, to the hospital and say, here's his medical records, here's her medical records. Simple, easy, quick, do it. Zip drive, medical records, good idea. Put family photos on there, you can show them to the doctor. So that's it, zip drive. Now at the end of the rainbow, a lot of times we have little siblings with us and they have so, and they need something to do, okay? I always carry a, a handy dandy minion. See, he eats his banana. This is my minion, by the way, not my, not my kids. They bought it for me. So have a toy. Why? Because it keeps little kids happy. It's mouth that moves up and down. You can make his eye move. Really cool. So if you have a toy for a child, not yourself, that is worth one point. Okay. But we know that minions have to eat. So as our final item here in the pillowcase, we have bananas because minions love banana. Okay. So bananas for the minion. Okay, which is just another toy. So if you have bananas for your minion, really strange that you'd have that in your bag, but I have it in my bag. I got the point. So anyway, if you have that, that's it. I will post with this a note telling you how many possible points because I can't count. This will be at least 26 points, at least 26 points total. Um, scoring it, if you have... Um, pretty much just participating is going to get you participation. Um, you don't get a grand prize, but you will have an idea. You have knowledge. And with that idea, you'll now be able to move on. And I think I just found the zip drive. Yep, I did. I, I was good and prepared. And there's the zip drive I told you I was missing. Okay. Why? Because we need to be prepared. We're scouts. People expect scouts to be prepared. And so if you're prepared, you will be able to help in times of need. You'll be able to help your family. You'll be able to help your community. You'll be able to help yourself. So go get them, scouts. You're awesome. Thank you for participating. Sorry this wasn't live, but now you can all watch it again and again and again because I know it's that thrilling or not. Anyway, thank you. Have a good day. Yours in scouting. Take care. Goodbye.